राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव इनवाइटेड गीतांजलि पेकम्बर हु रिसेंटली हैज क्रैक द जॉब ऑफ अ जूनियर डेटा एनालिस्ट एट अ मिड स्किल कंपनी एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली एज अ फ्रेशर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हर जर्नी इन दिस वीडियो हर जॉब हंटिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज विच हेल्प हर टू गेट द इंटरव्यू कॉल्स एज वेल एज द इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू टॉपिक्स सो दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ऑल सो स्टे टू टिल द एंड सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट Please do hit the like button of this video. It really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to it, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Learn with Geeks. So, Kitanjali, let's start with your introduction first, and also walk us through your journey so far. First of all, thank you so much, Sasan, for inviting me to share my journey with fellow data aspirants. So, my name is Kitanjali Pekamvar. I am from a town named Dharmabad, Nandeed district, Maharashtra. talking about my educational background so i have completed my till 10th education from a jizamata girls school darmabad it was a state board and a marathi medium school and after that my higher education and graduation i have completed from a lal bahadur shastri mahavidyalay darmabad i did my graduation in bsc with the subjects physics mathematics and computer science so i completed my graduation in august 2024 so from there i had three options first to do mca or msc second to do something and get a job and third to get married because from the place i come from if a girl is not doing something then she only has an option to do get married so and i don't want to do masters because um like it is not available in my hometown and we were not financially that so good to send me to the cities so i chose the second option to do something and get a job and uh, today i am working as a junior data analyst at an international company named austel pharmaceuticals so once your uh, graduation got completed and you decided okay let's uh, do something on on your own and get a job so from there onwards what all things you did and how did you actually land this job so after my graduation so one of my friends suggested me to try for a sales post so i tried for that even i spent uh, around 2 weeks but i felt it, that was not for me then i again started searching and i came across with the uh, one vi- uh, youtube video uh, which was about like, uh, it was telling about how the data analytics field is evolving how a person can become a data analyst and what all skills needed so uh, i felt a uh, kind of relatable and uh, interesting by listening that so i dig deeper into that uh, we uh, field and started exploring how to become a data analyst then initially i started with the, like i was uh, looking for the pay after placement kind of courses even uh, i talked with around 20 plus institutions uh, even i almost uh, i almost tried to like uh, enroll in one course but i stopped myself because i felt they were like a scams um because there is no guarantee of getting a job with the pay after placement courses then in september 2024 uh, i enrolled in one boot camp it was worth 3000 rupees and uh, it was for the 100 days of program where uh, i had to learn a sql and excel and do some eight live projects so i learned from that i i built like uh, eight projects but even though after completing that i was not feeling confident with the tools uh, because there was inconsistency in my learning even a health issue so i haven't given proper attention to that uh, course so in uh, january 2025 i decided from now onwards i will learn everything from the free resources i will make a structured plan like from where i am going to learn which tech stack i decided everything made a plan and i started learning with consistency and discipline so i learned sql from the code basics and uh, excel for, for excel i uh, learned from uh, like rishabh mishra and the chandu channel and from uh, for power bi definitely your channel learn with dx and advanced power bi uh, topics i use like a guy in a cube and uh, there is one like a whole data analytics bootcamp by uh, alex analyst so i use this resource free resources so you are mentioning that you started learning for free from the youtube channels that you mentioned and so for how long you learned all the skills so i learned the skills around like a 3 to 4 months so in like Mar- by the ending of march like my brother insisted me like uh, you are learning that's good but don't wait for like a, uh, when you will become a perfect 
so don't think about that and start applying for the job so i heard his words and really want to thank you to him like from that time i started applying for the jobs and uh, in uh, april 2025 i received my first interview call for the uh, data engineering intern role okay so you got the call for internship yes so how long was the internship period the internship was for the 6 months and you were paid for this yes i was paid for this so how much they were paying you monthly they were paying me a 20000 per month and they also told you that uh, they will be giving you a full time job after your internship is completed or was it something different there was no as such like a promise uh, that they are going to make me full time even i understood by myself that it is not going to be permanent but i got the exposure with the real industry level projects and working with the team so that was a great learning for me you mentioned that you got 20000 monthly and you did it you did the internship for a couple of months so by what time the internship got completed and after that what happened so internship was completed on uh, 31st of october but i haven't wait for like uh, it should end and then i will start applying for the full time job i took a decision earlier i started applying for the full time job in september itself so what particular so, strategy you implemented from september 2025 onwards uh, mm-hmm. to get the interview calls uh, actually uh, in september i was applying randomly for the multiple roles and uh, even in a day i was applying for the multiple uh, job but you know that eventually uh, haven't got me any call backs so i realized uh, applying randomly it doesn't make sense so uh, like I, ha- i haven't received any call in september itself then i made a strategy so in a september there was also opening for the uh, google data analytics apprenticeship program so I applied for that program and uh, you know i my resume got shortlisted for that it was a really big thing for me uh, because i uh, spent around my two days to craft my resume for that um, for the uh, uh, program and my resume got shortlisted so from that uh, incident means i understood that if we will craft our resume uh, properly according to the jd of a job then definitely we will get a call back so the first thing uh, to get a interview calls we should uh, we should like to uh, make our resume like a craft according to the job description and like a second strategy was uh, you know for which company uh, or a which role you are applying you know we get we get to understand like uh, which domain the job uh, company belongs to so like i uh, com- uh, i have built around like 25 plus projects so whenever i was applying for any particular job if a company is from a healthcare sector so i uh, used to add like my healthcare related project uh, if a company is from e-commerce or a financial industry so i used to mention those relevant projects so one of the factor which made my resume stand out that this one uh, in my current role as well and the third strategy was like be the early applicant and the fourth thing i would like to mention uh, showcase your all work uh, try to leave, try to showcase whatever you are learning make a like a series be consistent uh, like you can build like a seven days of series project and uh, try to showcase your work on linkedin uh you know uh, one of the factor like which made my uh, resume stand out that was my github and linkedin profile because in my interview also there were like four to uh, five portion around my profile and all so definitely uh, this thing can motivate a lot of people that jobs are there in the market i know things are limited for freshers but if you have to get that limited things also you have to follow some specific things which people like gitanjali have followed and they have got the success also gitanjali now from your experience of giving interviews in different companies what all important topics you would want uh, people who will be watching this video to prepare before they attend any interview as a fresher so these are the most important interview topics from sql and power bi and because in both of my uh, interviews like most of the interview i faced from that C- mostly they have Uh, focus on sql and power bi the topics to learn first of all apart from the basic topics you should uh, is mainly focus on joins different types of joins window functions like row number rank dens rank lead lag this all and date and time function this is quite tricky 
people uh, always try to skip this but you should learn and then ct and data cleaning functions like how to handle null duplicate stream lower and upper the difference between union and union all this might sound the easier one but uh, it is tricky so uh, you can expect this uh, also question third like uh, the very important thing like you will definitely face a scenario based questions uh, in my interview they told me to share my screen and write a query you can expect questions like find the second highest salary from the employee table find running total of salaries by department i just mentioned two but but you should practice as much as you can topics from power bi same apart from basic topics you should uh, like uh, really focus on data modeling this is very important topic then facts and dimension tables hierarchy what is hierarchy how to create a custom hierarchies then uh, relationships and cardinality difference between active and inactive relationships star schema and snowflake schema different types of filters uh, bookmarks uh, like this is a very important one then performance optimization ways like uh, this you can expect in all interviews uh, because real in, in real industry projects uh, we have to create projects according to the like optimization refresh time and all uh, then another topic is like rls people always try to skip as it is a advanced topic but you should do it data security related question you can expect your scenario based question they can might ask if the whole database has deleted then what you can do or how you can add a data security then another topic is uh, import versus direct query mode uh, data refreshes data connections drill throughs and drill downs field parameters from the dax point of view um, like as we are a fresher so they will not expect you should know everything all functions but at least you should know the basic dax function like calculate and filter where to use then time intelligence functions uh, and if and switch and all the basic uh, dax functions and from the power be a uh, power query you should know the data cleaning and transformation steps like uh, how like so uh, adding rows uh, adding columns uh, custom columns and all then uh, merge queries and append queries Uh, how we can handle null values and data or query folding basics so according to my experience these all are like uh, really important uh, topics all right thanks for sharing this also can you also present your uh, resume once so that uh, people can see how as a fresher you have crafted your resume so sudan this is my like a resume i crafted like a one page resume and uh, it is four of this resume was like a uh, 84 percentage i crafted according to this jd friends if you want this particular template uh, just let me know in the comment box i will take it from gitanjali and provide you uh, with the link to download so let me know in the comment box please so thank you so much uh, gitanjali for sharing your resume as well as the important interview questions people can take a note of it so gitanjali a very important uh, question which people have As a fresher, how much salary one can expect in the current market situation as a for a junior data analyst position? So, as a fresher, one can expect around uh, four to six LPM. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Kitanjali, for coming and sharing your amazing journey. People will get definitely get a lot of insights from it and get the motivation to move forward. So, thank you so much once again. So yeah, at the end, I would really like to say to all data aspirants that if I can do from uh, coming from a tier 3 college with no fancy degree with no budget and with all free resources then definitely you can do just keep showing up all your work keep building and keep hustling thank you